Recently, NGPF came out with Edpuzzle videos that are posted to their blog every Thursday of every week. I thought I would put together this quick teacher tip video on how to link your Edpuzzle account to your Google Classroom account. I'm a huge Google Classroom user and um, Edpuzzle is a wonderful web tool that will connect very easily to your Google Classroom. My name is Amanda Volz. I am a personal finance teacher at St. Clair High School in St. Clair, Michigan. And on the NGPF blog, um, over on the right-hand side, there's some categories. They filter by category. And I'm talking about Edpuzzle Thursday. So every Thursday, NGPF will um, post a new video to Edpuzzle. And the amazing thing about it is the questions are already created and embedded within the video. If you don't know too much about Edpuzzle, the, um, Edpuzzle is a uh, web tool in which you can post a short video and then have some questions. You can insert some um, comments within that particular video. So the first one I clicked on is their most recent um, Edpuzzle video, which is the difference between saving, investing, and speculating. And within the blog post, um, you can click right on this link, which I'll do in just a minute, which will take me to the already created Edpuzzle video. I do have to give a quick shout out to um, the very bottom of the blog post. There is a link to another NGPF fellow, James, created a blog post. If you're just getting started with Edpuzzle or you're interested in this but really haven't set it up yet, his blog post is great in which it incl includes some clear steps and screenshots on how to get started with Edpuzzle if that's where you're at. My goal is just to show you how to connect Edpuzzle and Google Classroom together if you're a Google Classroom user. So definitely check out his blog post if you're new to Edpuzzle. So one of the first things that I would do is establish your Edpuzzle account. So if you don't have an Edpuzzle account, again, his blog post will help you do that. Um, you would want to sign up for Edpuzzle. And my suggestion to you is that if you're hoping to use it with Google Classroom, is to use the same Google account that you have with your Google Classroom when signing up for Edpuzzle. So I already have my account, so I'm just gonna log in to my account. And again, I'm logging in with Google because I want to use the same account with my Google Classroom as I use with Edpuzzle. So again, I already have an account created. And one of the first things um, that you're gonna wanna do, actually, you're looking at my Google Classroom right now, and I'm just gonna create a quick class um, just for, I'll call it like um, demonstration class just so you can see because my Google Classroom classes and students are already in Edpuzzle so I'm doing this just so you can see how to add a new class so I'm just gonna create a quick class within Google Classroom but yours are probably already established within Google Classroom but this will show you how to link the two of them together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the NGPF content in Edpuzzle, but then have it posted to Google Classroom so my students know that they need to complete that assignment. So now I have a course with no students in it, but just for demonstration called Demonstration Class. So what you do in Edpuzzle, the first step in connecting them, is if you go up to My Classes up in the top right-hand corner, um, you see I have, I teach the same course um, all day long, so I have my different sections of financial management. But what you want to do is import from Google Classroom. There's a button down here at the bottom. And um, I'm going to import the students and the classes from my Google Classroom account. So you see that I already have the ones that are already checked there because they're already in my um, Edpuzzle account. And now I'm just going to add that class that I just created, which is my demonstration class. And then I import classes. And what it's going to do is it's going to import that course into Edpuzzle as well as the students that are in it. I don't have any students, again, because I'm doing it for demonstration. So that's one of the first things that you'll want to do. And then NGPF has it set up so nicely that when you go to the blog post, they automatically have it linked within that blog post. So I can go and click on Edpuzzle Video, and it's going to automatically take me to the video that they've created. And then I have four questions that are embedded within that three-minute or so video. You can edit that and copy it if you want to. Again, that's more into how Edpuzzle works. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to assign this directly to my class. You can enter a due date. So let's say I wanted them to watch it today. So I'm going to make it due tomorrow, and then I'll save that. And then which class do I want to assign that to? So I'm going to do it to the demonstration class that I just created. And then when I scroll down to the bottom, 
One of the things that I would encourage you to check as an educator is the prevent skipping. It prevents students from being able to skip ahead and just answer the questions. When you prevent that, they have to watch the full video. And then one way that you can post on Google Classroom is just turn that switch on. So if you turn the switch on here, it's going to automatically, immediately assign it to your Edpuzzle account for the student and also into your Google Classroom. So when I click assign, it's automatically doing it. So when I go up to my classes in Edpuzzle and I look at my demonstration class, here right now is the in process or in progress assignment that I have in Edpuzzle. So one way to do it is just tell students, log into your Edpuzzle account and you know watch and complete the video. But if you do more of a blended learning environment or you want to incorporate it into Google Classroom, you see my um, stream was updated. So now it automatically um, assigned it also in Google Classroom, where then if you do something, um, however you structure your Google Classroom, I can go in and I can edit that assignment. I can add a different title if I want, some instructions, etc. And then what the student does is just clicks on that link. It will automatically take them to their Edpuzzle account, and then you're able to track their progress. So it works really well. It's really simple, and it's really great to see um, the blog post every Thursday. They have different topics and different videos posted to Edpuzzle.